Okay, we welcome in the DePaul Blue Demons. Congratulations to them. 85-53 winners over Georgetown in our second semifinal here at the Big East Women's Basketball Tournament presented by Jeep. Head coach Doug Bruno joins us along with student athletes uh, Ashton Millinder and Kelly Campbell. So a couple of notes about DePaul. Uh, fourth Big East Tournament final coming up for them tomorrow in five years. Uh, fifth straight year for DePaul in which they've had at least 25 victories. Tomorrow we'll mark our second consecutive Big East Tournament final with uh, Marquette playing DePaul. Uh, Kelly Campbell, her seventh double-double uh, of the season, as you look at the stat sheet for her with 11 points, 11 rebounds. And for Millinder, she's uh, got uh, 30 points in the last two Big East Tournament games. She's shooting 50% from the floor in those games and 44% from three. So as usual, we'll open it up to uh, Coach first with an opening statement, then uh, questions for the athletes. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Our players were really dialed in and focused, and I, I just it's the time of the year for them to be dialed in and focused. I thought we did a really good job on the defensive side of the ball um, most of the evening. I mean, holding uh, a Georgetown team that scored 86 against us in Chicago 17 days ago to 22 points in the first half was, uh, was a credit to our players. And then coming back and and getting off to the great start in the, in the third quarter was also a, a credit to our players. I thought they were just really dialed in and ready to play. All right, questions for our student athletes? Raise your hand, we'll get the wireless microphone over to you. Right here in the front row. And just uh, introduce yourself with name and affiliation. Hi, I'm Evan with the Apollo. Ashton, you really uh, started off, you know, just the get go, just um basically just knocking down open shots when I got them uh, I couldn't have done it without my teammates passing me the ball though so when it came to me just knocking it down right next to you Jim Yeah, I think in tonight's game, we really focused on defense and rebounding much better than we did in the game before. Uh, it was really a huge mindset coming in. I think we executed well as a big team win. Uh, I mean, good team offensively game. So I think both of those things. We'll go to Matt here, and then we'll go to the second row. Matt Schumacher, Big East Conference. You talk about defensive rebounding. Offensive rebounding was really a big difference in that first quarter and first five minutes of the second quarter. You were out rebounding from 9 to 1. At one point, you're up 29 to 20. That was really the big difference. What was the mindset? How much did Coach preach that coming into this game? We'll go to Kelly first on that one. Yeah, I mean, offensive rebounding has been huge for us this year. Um, I don't really know where to go with this. Uh, so I think just getting those easy baskets on putbacks really helped us get in a good flow. Ashton, anything to add? Um, nope, she got it. <laughs> <laughs> right here in the second row. Thank you. Team, uh, selection. I just wanted to ask you, um, just with the performance that you put on tonight, again, at Double Double, you held Georgetown's two toughest players to just really shut down them from the field. How were you and the rest of the team able to just really make that difference tonight? Um, considering in the last game they both kind of went off on us, it was huge for us to make, it, make that a huge point. So I'm glad our, my teammates did a great job on defense and everyone helped with help defense and rebounding really got the job done. Uh, okay. Kelly, and Ashton, how much do you look forward to this stage tomorrow night, you know, a championship game against Marquette? Yeah, I'm very excited for this game tomorrow. We did not come here to play second, so really excited to get into the game tomorrow and get the win. Um, just very excited. Uh, I love the atmosphere atmosphere so does my team so uh like kelly said we didn't come here to play second um just ready just ready <laughs> anything else for the athletes faith Um, Brooke and Jess was like, um, they kind of like carried the team. They were very good players, but like, I feel like we have a lot more threats on the team. Like everybody's a threat. So like everybody has to be guarded. So it's harder for like our defense to like match up with that. 
<laughs> and again, for the both of you, um, will your mental preparation be any different going into tomorrow's game based on how you prepare for today's game? Ashton, we'll start with you. Um, not really, because we pre we basically prepare every game the same. But I guess knowing that it's a championship is like more determining. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, I think we prepare for every game the same way, but tomorrow there's a little extra emphasis because it's the championship and it's Marquette, so <laughs> big rival there. All right. Ladies, thank you very much. We'll get you back to the locker room. Thank Congratulations. You. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll get reset here and we'll open it up to questions for Coach. And once again, raise your hand and Pam's got the wireless and we'll get it over to you. So raise them up high right here in the front. Coach, how important was it for the team to see Amar Coleman play so well in the second half to give you guys that extra offensive spark? It, it, it's always great when everybody plays well, Evan. And, 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 you know, we have a team here that's very versatile, and we've really not hit it on all cylinders yet where everybody's playing well every night. So it was great to see Amar have a, have a really quality ball game. And some of our other players as well. I mean, that's that's what this kind of how this team has constructed itself. So it's very versatile, and it was just great to see Amara playing well. Get the microphone back to the second row to Kim. Kim Adams, Westwood One. Uh, Coach, you hit on how impressed you were with your team's defensive performance, but you look at the stat sheet, 18 assists to just nine turnovers. What do you think your team did so well offensively to be that effective tonight? Well, I just think we did a much better job of taking care of the basketball than we did in the last time we played them. And, and you know, I, I just thought Georgetown is a very tenacious defensive team. And I thought as quick as we shoot, as fast as we like to play, I think we really do emphasize half-court offensive execution when teams force us to pass the ball. When you don't have a quick, easy one early, you have to have patience. And I thought our players showed much more discipline and patience tonight in, in many possessions. Second row in the middle. Hi, I'm Anna Sandbag from Chicago Land Coach Radio. Um, I'd like to know, what did you say going into the Thanksgiving game about what you were trying to We try to prepare our team. Kelly just said it. It sounds like the same, but we try to prepare our team the same way for every game. By that, we really try to keep the players in the present, focused on every possession, and that's what we always do. We try to never play to a score. We always try to play to the possession. It doesn't matter which side of the ball we're on. We want to play to the possession, and that's something we emphasize all year long. That doesn't mean we do it. I mean, think about the last time we played Georgetown. They had 32 points in the fourth quarter. So we were, we were emphasizing the same things going into the fourth or the second half the first time we played Georgetown and, and didn't get the job done. So what we talk about and what we emphasize doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen. And that's the experience of our basketball team. You know, they had a firsthand experience 17 days ago where Deanna White had a career night and Petke had a great, great second half. So, I mean, a great game against us. So, I, I, and, and we, we lost that game when they didn't have Vincent. So, it's, it's, I, I think it's more about our players. That's what experience does. That's what seasons do. And I think we've learned. We've taken some lumps this year, and that's what hopefully we've learned from those lumps. We're going to go on the right here to Matt, and then we'll go to the front. Coach, you, you, you know, Kelly Campbell talked about this is a big rivalry for you guys. Second time you're playing in the championship in two years. Pretty similar styles of basketball. You guys attack just like they do from a lot of different angles. From a defensive perspective, how do you attack them right now, especially with Alizea Blossom playing so well at you? Well, what, what makes Marquette so strong is Alizea uh, is, is a great player. Uh, the player of the year in the league for a justified reason, and yet they are multi-dimensional. Also, Heidemann can get off at any at any moment. Davenport can have a big game. Wilborn is 
one of our, I mean, she's just one of the toughest competitors there is. She was the MVP a year ago, and she lit us up in the championship game a year ago. And then Danielle King, everybody knows what Danielle King's done against DePaul. So, I mean, it's just a, it's, it's, it's multidimensional. We just can't focus on blocked, and, you, and that's why Marquette's really good. We have to, you know, we have to focus on everybody. And it's, you know, having gotten to play for Ray Meyer and having to play, having played against Al McGuire and there, in the day of the independent when there was no leagues, there was kind of a, it was, it became its own league. Notre Dame twice, St. Paul's schedule, Marquette twice, Dayton twice. And yet, I just, I just think how cool it would be for, for Coach Allen, for Coach Ray, to be able to be playing in a championship Big East game. And those guys would have embraced it and they would have really been great at it. But, you know, it's just, it's just you know, you think back, that's how long I go back to this rivalry. So believe me, if anybody understands the rivalry between DePaul and Marquette, I certainly really do. And we're excited about it. Carol has done a great job and put this, you know, put her program back in a place of, of national prominence. And that's what the Big East is all about. This is a great league. We beat a really good team today. You know, this, the team we beat today is a really good basketball team. It's not some fluke. So, and, and, and Marquette beat a really good Creighton team today. So there's just, this is a great league top to bottom. And, and we're just excited to put ourselves in position to be playing for the Big East championship again. I'm going to go back row and then Jim. Jamal, I, I am not capable of watching tomorrow's game. So I, I really haven't studied them for – I mean, I've studied them my whole life. I've studied this team since they got there. I mean, so I know what they do. But when it comes to this tournament, my mind has to be on Georgetown today. And some coaches are good enough that they can come here and watch the first game. I can't. i got to sit there and focus on Georgetown and focus on Georgetown and pre-play Georgetown. So we'll, we'll walk out of here in a few minutes. And believe me, we know Marquette very, very well. But, I mean, what they've actually done here, how they've progressed since we played them basically five, four or five weeks ago. You know, that's something that my very, very talented assistant coaches are all over. You know, this was, this was Lisa Rickmash's um, scout tonight, and, and Jill Pisati has the Marquette scout and the Creighton scout. So, you know, now it's down to the Marquette scout. So they're all over what's going on here. But personally, I won't turn my attention to it until I walk across that sky bridge and get up in my hotel room and really start hunkering down. But the beauty of this is that the beauty of league championships are we all do know each other. You know, it doesn't matter what league it is, we all know each other. And, and you know, those juniors have been playing together since they're freshmen, so there's not much about them that's really going to be surprising. It's still going to come down to the execution and the competitiveness among them between their five and our five. Got one more question here in the back on the right. I, I think Kelly said it best, and, and you know, it sounds boring, but we really do try to prepare for every game the same. Now, that doesn't mean – I'm not for a second trying to suggest that when you play somebody on December 28th, it's the same as playing somebody in, in March Madness where it's one and out basketball. At the same time, if you can keep your players in the moment and keep them focused on the moment and not focused on possible results – you know, and, and focus on the results of each possession. That's what she means when she says we prepare the same way for every game. That's what we do at DePaul. And so that's what we're going to do for Marquette tomorrow. And, and it still comes down to, you know, today, Ashton, um, you know, the, somebody asked a question about the, the White and, and Petke um, scoring today. Well, Shante Stonewall, we went back with our line. We went back, we went back with our defensive matchups from, D, from our game in D.C. Shante has more length. And, and so she did a good job, very good job on White today. Marte Grace did a really good job on Petke. But still, tomorrow it's going to be, you know, Wilborn's going to be against one of our players, and so is Blockton, and so is Heidemann. And, and that's what just makes it a, a great, great ball game. And we can't forget it. We can't forget about Danielle King because, you know, you know, maybe this year she hasn't averaged 27 against us, but last year she certainly averaged 27 against us. So that's a very important matchup as well, and, and Davenport is a low. They have five players that could have made the Big East all-conference team. 
Now that's sometimes, and, and, and so all five of those players are really, really special. They're getting some bench play out a lot, Ben Clunan, and, and you know, they're, they're, it's, it's a really, really talented basketball team. I'm excited for the Big East. I certainly believe we deserve to have four teams in the Big East, in the NCAA tournament. You know, the Villanova and Creighton having lost before the championship game should not cost them. If, if the people in the committee are really paying attention to how good this league is. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a great ball game tomorrow night, and I'm looking forward to it.